In the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, even before it was a pandemic, I was going on the news talking about this new virus that we had seen overseas and now we're seeing in this country. This was, I don't know, January, February. And when I described the symptoms and all of my medical colleagues, when we described them, we typically thought of fever, shortness of breath, cough, uh, potentially a pneumonia. But now, and since that time, we've learned so much more about this virus and we've also learned it affects a lot more uh, than just the respiratory system that is the cough, shortness of breath, pneumonia piece. It can affect literally the entire body. Uh, there was an article published recently in Nature and Medicine that really well encapsulated the many different ways that COVID-19 can affect the body. That's what we're talking about today. The first is neurological system, right? Uh, we know that COVID-19 patients can get things like headaches, dizziness, uh, even strokes, of course, a loss of taste and smell. Let's move on to the kidney. Yeah, believe it or not, the kidneys are infected. It can cause kidney damage, but also protein uh, in the urine and blood in the urine as well, which can be signs of kidney damage. Uh, the liver can be damaged as well. Moving on to the GI tract. Uh, we have we started to learn, I remember this probably around in, I don't know, April, we were seeing patients kind of, you know, coming in with nausea, vomiting, uh, diarrhea, right? So we know that those can happen, but people can also get abdominal pains as well. We also know that the clotting, the blood clotting of patients can be altered. We've seen an increase in blood clots throughout the body in many COVID-19 patients um, in the form of DVTs or deep vein thrombosis. That's blood clots that we typically see like in the legs or other places. We've seen pulmonary embolisms, that's blood clots in the lungs. We've seen blood clots around catheters and blood clots in many different places. Um, we have also been seeing heart issues actual heart injury, heart damage in the form of heart attacks. We've also seen cardiogenic shock, also things like irregular heart rhythms as well. Uh, and by the way, these aren't the full list of things within these categories. These are just some examples. Um, in the endocrine system, uh, we often see in patients with COVID-19 increased blood sugar. Uh, and then of course, we know that there can be skin manifestations of COVID-19 uh, as well, rashes, different skin lesions, whether they're vesicles or, or other. The widespread nature of how COVID-19 affects the body is, is really remarkable. Uh, we really started out thinking that this was just an upper respiratory condition, the lungs, right, uh, primarily. And yes, that is still the case that the lungs is where we focus a lot of our energy, right? Shortness of breath, cough, pneumonia, etc. But we also know that COVID-19 can literally affect any and every aspect of the body. I think it's one of the things making this condition so difficult to treat. It's also one of the things making it so dangerous. Guys, every day we learn more and more about this disease. As always, I say we have to do what we can do and what we know to do right now. That is wearing our masks. Guys, please wear masks. Stay six feet away from other people. Social distance, wash your hands, hand sanitizer, things like that. If you live in an area or a state where COVID-19 cases are running rampant, you honestly need to stay home right right now. This couldn't be more important. Don't forget to share this video with others you think might benefit from it. And don't forget to like and follow my page. I do daily health videos. And if you're interested in sending stars, you can find those right underneath uh, every one of my videos. Um, I answer your questions first. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'll see you soon.